Hi, and welcome to the Abilities Expo. My name is Caroline Chafe. I am the founder and chair of Access to Accessibility. My name is Mary Daniel. I'm the business development and community engagement. Our presentation today is building your employability. We will start with the agenda, introduction and objective, be organized, be prepared, access to accessibility, entrepreneur and professional with disability, conclusion with question and answers. Our objective is first empowerment. How you can become stronger to building your confidence and to become independent to advocating yourself in your personal and professional life. Then be organized and be prepared how to set goals and to lay out a work plan to achieve your goal. Assess your strengths and ability. Choosing to both entrepreneurial and employment. Finding ways to network and collecting resource information. Be organized. For job seekers and entrepreneurs and career professionals, you need to lay out a work plan for your career goal. For example, prepare a portfolio. You want to have an employment plan to, of the job you wish to pursue. And for those who are entrepreneurs or self-employed, you need to have a business plan if you are going to become an entrepreneur. Then you will start by meeting with an advisor. For job seekers, if you're not sure of what your career goals are, what type of job you want to get into, then you will meet with a career or vocational counselor. And this will help define your career goals. Then you will meet with an employment counselor or a job developer. They will help you direct to your right path in finding employment. For those who are entrepreneurial, you need to meet with a business and a financial advisor to direct you to the right path to becoming self-employed and to help you find funding opportunities. Then for both, you need to build a relationship through networking, whether it's online or in person, an opportunity to join various webinars or workshops in your career interests, and also an opportunity to hold your communication skills, joining public such as Postmaster. Be prepared. You must have an updated resume that prepared towards your work experience. Remember, always include your transferable skills towards the job you are looking for or towards the business you are looking for. And be sure to have your education background that will lead to your career goal. You want to explore job opportunity and different employers, do the research. What type of work or business environment do you want to work in? Then take an opportunity online to map the job or businesses that will suit your interests, your skills, your experience, as well as your disability. You want to make sure that you could get the accommodations that you will need to be successful in the workplace or in your business. Find resources and support for your career journey through various connections, which is online or in person. And last, gain experience and skills 
if you have a lack of skills and experience, you want to do this through volunteering. This will help you achieve your career goal. Remember this, becoming successful and employable, it is a full-time job. The three things to always remember is to be organized, be prepared, and also be positive. Believe in yourself. Now, Carol Ann will talk about access to accessibility. Thank you, Mary. Access to Accessibility is a Canadian federal nonprofit. We are a central resource hub for your accessibility needs. Access to Accessibility, or A2A as we like to be called, has two divisions, a live division and a digital. But before I get into those, I'd like to give you a little background on A2A. As a person with multiple disabilities and have met so many other people with disabilities, who had career aspirations and entrepreneurial goals. We found that a lot of the resources out there for people with disabilities were geared around life skills and entry-level jobs. Now, those are great organizations and great resources, but just like every other sector of society, people with disabilities can fill any type of job position. Finding something for career-minded professionals was so hard. So, living by the mantra of Gandhi, be the change you wish to see in the world, I wanted to see more resources, especially geared towards career professionals with disabilities, thus it created access to accessibility. Like I said, one of our divisions is the live division, and this provides in-person hub. In the hub, we hold many events, special events, such as GAD for Global Accessibility Awareness Day. This, these events we have done in collaboration with our local Microsoft stores. This is where, like Mary was saying, you know, networking and being out in the community. We also hold network support and learn sessions, and in these, People share their resources, what's working for them, what's not, maybe certain accommodations that they've needed, and which sort of career paths have helped them. We also hold education and information events, social and recreational activities. People with disabilities have varied interests just like everybody else. So our Network and Learn event is our entrepreneurs and professionals with disabilities. This is a meetup. Meetup is an organization you can find at www.meetup.com. There you'll find groups all over the world. So I'm sure there's ones in your city. Could be anything for personal or business topics. So definitely do check them out. It's a great resource. And of course, join entrepreneurs and professionals with disabilities. Like I said, we're a network and learn event for career-minded people with visible and invisible disabilities who are currently or planning to be an entrepreneur or career professional. This, of course, means we welcome students. The digital division provides online resources. Well, once COVID hit, our in-person live events had to be put on hold. Then we really start to get to work on our digital division, with the first thing being our website up. There we have our events page. You can see some of the various events we've done in the past and ones that are coming up. We are developing private group pages for people with disabilities in different careers where they can join together and share their resources. We are not the only organization doing this. So check out any that you can find, and these are great places to network, share, and learn. We do our virtual events called Community Guest Speakers Series. And in this, we have guest speakers from all over, 
they are people with disabilities or maybe even organizations providing products and services. Soon, we will be launching our YouTube channel. There we will provide some of our previous recordings of our previous events, and we hope to provide webinars and live events. Check out YouTube, this is another great resource. Like Mary said, you want to be checking out these resources. You learn from your peers, you learn from your competition, and you'll get to hone in on maybe some of the things that you should be doing. Social media. Social media is a great tool. Can't under, underestimate it. You know, they used to say, it's the number of followers you had. Well, the number is important. More important is the quality of your followers. Who interacts with you and who you're interacting with. This can really help you grow. It can help you learn more about the companies you're interested in applying to work for. It can help you grow your client and customer base. It lets people find you and to determine how much of an expert you are in your field. Always remember though, your personal and your professional social media are two separate entities. So make sure on your, pers your personal, you can promote what you're doing in your professional life, but on your professional social media, don't get into all your personal aspects of your life. Customers and clients are not interested to see where, where you ate, what you ate, who's in your family and such things like that. One of the biggest goals for A2A is our mobile website, which will be coming down the, the line. This will be a mobile website to find local accessibility needs. So like Mary said, you had to have a plan a to A had a plan. First, we knew we'd become recognized and we developed our live events. Then we went to our digital events, all the while growing our presence in the community and on social media. We knew our YouTube channel would come next and then would come our mobile website. So you too should also have your plan. Many successful individuals have disabilities. Most are hidden. Our disabilities do not define us. You have to focus on your abilities. And once again, like Mary said, you, you figure out the accommodation, but that is something that just helps you fulfill your dream, your career. We look at successful individuals like Tom Cruise, Lady Gaga, David Lepofsky, he was a successful lawyer and then went on to help launch AODA, the Accessibility for Ontarians Disability Act, and then the Canadian Disability Act. David uh, Onley, who had a successful career TV news broadcasting, went on to become the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. Together, let's support one another, share our resources, our knowledge. Let's network and help each other through. This is a mantra that A2A believes in and our members. And we really do like connecting, sharing and supporting like-minded people and organizations. As Mary had mentioned, volunteering gives you great experience and skills and connections. At A2A, we still go out and volunteer. Mary and I are longtime members of the Accessibility Committee for our local municipal government. We volunteer in other areas too. We connect with other organizations. Never stop, no matter how big your career gets, volunteering is a great way to grow, to gain experience, and to gain new connections. It's also very fulfilling. A2A is always welcoming volunteers, so gladly connect with us. 
the last thing I'll leave you with is, especially in social media, when we're supporting one another, let's use the hashtag, we are able. So when A2A sees a person with a disability doing some great deed, launching a career, getting a job, maybe writing a book, launching their music or artistic career, we'd love to support them by reposting it and tagging We Are Able. Yes, we're people with disabilities, but it's our ability we're proud of. When you are on social media, look also for the hashtag A11Y. That stands for accessibility. You'll find great accessibility people and organizations. And A2A, we use A2A11Y. Because A is for accessibility, ends with the letter Y, and there's 11 letters. In the time, you can get some free uh, media or advertising. So long as it's positive, it's a great thing. So as I'm showing on the screen, Microsoft uh, did the promotion of our special event together. We were featured in our PL Weekly newspaper. We were also featured in the Community Capture magazine. That's in print in our city and surrounding cities and online. We would like to thank you for having us here. On the screen are just a few pictures of some of our guest speakers and our attendees. Thank you very much. We are now going to go to the questions and answer and comments. So this will be the live section. I will leave you with please do follow and connect with A2A. Go to our website, access to accessibility.com. Any of our social media platforms that are listed here or gladly connect with Mary or I through our emails. Thank you. And now let's go to the live Q&A.